into too much detail on this, but with some of those acquisitions that you've done, what is the long-term strategic thinking around that? I mean, was one of them actually around the whole 5G conversation? Was it because they'd already had that partnership or, you know, you would piggy bank on the back of them because it's easier mm -hmm. to do that than it is to start building your own infrastructure around that. What was what would have been the strategic thought process in doing that JV, just so we can understand a little bit about the thought process? So, so 5G is definitely an aspect of it. You're, you're right about that. Um, but the, the overwhelming aspect is that we believe consumers have a long-term appetite for... Um, for connectivity services. And whether those connectivity services are on a fixed basis inside your home or whether those connectivity services are mobile, you know, on your devices and more and more in other devices around your house, you know, we believe that's a long-term need that can be best served at scale, okay? And that the best way to provide those services is by having converged networks, networks that, you know, we, we have this vision of a network where, uh, you as a consumer can go from mobile services to fixed services without any sort of friction between them. Um, you know, more and more those are, are becoming reality, but we still have a long way to go and a long, long, you know, long uh, areas of innovation, long gaps, you know, and opportunities to use your, your words initially, um, you know, where uh, we, we believe we could create real value. Now we're a little bit different than, than other, um, other, um, you know, M&A driven companies, if you will, in that um, we're very comfortable being buyers or sellers. Uh, we believe in the fundamental value in the industry. And we believe that you can only get to that value when you're the number one or number two player in any given country. Um, so if in any situation, we don't feel we're in a position to become that number one, number two player, we're quite comfortable selling and, and joining our forces with somebody else. Uh, we're quite comfortable acquiring and we're quite comfortable you know, doing joint ventures. We don't have like a religion uh, that says it needs to be done, you know, this way or that way. What we do have religion is that there is long-term value in this underlying communication services. There's long-term consumer appetite that the industry is not yet mature and that there's lots of room for innovation. Uh, so when you could kind of put those things together, if we find the right transaction to go after, you know, we, we go after it. So I'm